I found 14 of the best side hustles that you can do to earn money in 2024. And some of these side hustles people are making millions of dollars a year with, and others they're really good just to make a little bit of extra beer money every single month. And there's gonna be a wide range of different side hustles, so depending on who you are and what you want, you're probably gonna find something on this list that's gonna be good for you. And I made sure to include ones that you probably haven't heard before. So if you appreciate me doing this type of content, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping that like button. and let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a TikTok NPC. So what exactly is a TikTok NPC? Well, NPC stands for non-playable character. So how the heck can you make money on TikTok being a non-playable character? Well, it's 2024 and you can make money doing just about anything it seems these days. So basically what this is, is you live stream on TikTok and then people pay you to do certain on-camera actions. And if you don't think you can make money doing this, well, pay Pinky Doll is making millions of dollars a year doing this, and she makes $2,000 to $3,000 per stream and often does multiple streams a day. Yes, this is actually a way that people are making money. And there's this article I found where she says, I don't care about the haters. What's important is my son is going to have a beautiful life. So I have mixed feelings about this. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm not sure why people are spending money on this type of thing. But with that being said, respect to her for figuring out a really good side hustle and figuring out how to make millions of dollars from weirdos online. And there's not just her, there's a lot of other people that are making money doing this. And you kind of just have to find your own little unique shtick. And you have to have incredible patience because you're just gonna be doing the same email Remote reactions over and over again for hours on end. But if you can do that, you can make a ton of money. So yeah, this one is very interesting to say the least. I don't know how long it's gonna last. This might just be a fad that only lasts like a year or a few months. But right now people are making a lot of money doing this. I'll go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Although I don't know what it's gonna be next year. What's up guys. So we're gonna be having a live training where I'm going to be teaching you how to grow and make money from your YouTube channel, okay? So this is gonna be stuff that I've never taught before. It's probably the only time I'm ever gonna teach it, so definitely you wanna show up for it, and it's gonna be at Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? So the link to it will be down in the description or swipe up or whatever, it'll, it'll say it on the screen, but definitely check it out. You don't wanna miss out on this. Next is going to be one that's much more stable and that is shoe flipping. So flipping items is probably the oldest business known to mankind. You basically buy stuff at a low price and you sell it at a higher price. It's that simple. And the way you get good at this is having knowledge and expertise in whatever types of items that you're flipping. So I flipped many different items throughout my life from cars to bikes to different electronic equipment and I've made a ton of money doing it and the greatest thing is you can actually just start as a teenager. I started when I was like 12. And sneakers are some of the best items to flip. In fact, there's entire YouTube channels dedicated to sneaker flipping. There's an article of this person, for instance, who makes over $10,000 a month flipping sneakers. And here's a YouTube channel that's all about sneaker reselling. So yeah, this one is really good and just flipping items in general is a really good side hustle. Again, especially if you have a lot of knowledge about these things. So if you're someone who's a sneaker head, you've been basically buying and selling sneakers sneakers your whole life, this would be great for you. I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is making tutorials on YouTube. So there's all kinds of different random niches out there where you can make a ton of money on YouTube and you don't have to be incredibly charismatic or be a genius about the videos that you select. There are certain niches out there where you can make really high CPM, which basically means how much money you get paid per 1000 views. And all you have to do is just make tutorial videos. And in some cases, if you're smart about it, you can even put affiliate links in the description. Or if you really take it far, you can make your own products and services and sell them on your YouTube channel. And there are literally millions of people around the world that are making money off of YouTube doing this. I, for one, was able to get to the six figure a year mark very quickly with this channel. And now after a few years, I'm making six figures plus per month. So this is absolutely possible for anybody out there to do this. And by the way, I do offer coaching for a few people per month. I've actually coached a bunch of people one-on-one -on -one in the past and helped them start successful YouTube channels as well. And I just really enjoy this because I'm kind of a YouTube nerd. I've been watching YouTube since I was a kid and I really enjoy teaching other people how to get success on YouTube as well. However, I am pretty picky 
about who I work with because I have limited time. So I typically only work with people who have already tried to start a YouTube channel or business owners that want to start a YouTube channel. So people who own service-based businesses like SMMA or coaches, consultants, or different types of online service providers. So if you fall under those categories, you can apply for my coaching by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And if you're qualified, you can actually get a free consult with me. So yeah, I think YouTube is incredible. If you try to start an entertainment channel, like a vlog or you know a video game channel or a travel channel or something like that, it's very difficult to make money. But if you start an education-based YouTube channel that you're solving real problems for real people with, it's much, much easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. I think creating content is probably the easiest way to make really big money online, not just a tiny little amount, but really big money. And I've done it myself, so I know that it's true. Next is going to be Amazon Flex. And this is basically where you deliver packages for Amazon. So it's kind of like Uber or Uber Eats, except you're delivering packages. And there are actually people who are making over $1,000 a week doing this. And certain times of the year, you can make even more. Now, this does depend on your location because there's a lot more need for Amazon drivers in certain locations. But most drivers earn between $18 and $25 an hour. So yeah, this one is pretty good. It's a legitimate side hustle. There's probably tens, if not hundreds of thousands of people out there that have made money with this. So I'll go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be a mobile car wash. And this is also referred to as a walking car wash. And this is basically where you go and wash and detail somebody's car wherever they are. And people who have a lot of money are willing to pay for this because they don't want to spend the time to go to the dealership, get their car washed in detail. Because that typically means they're going to have to wait an hour or more at the dealership. And people who have a lot of money are willing to spend a lot of money for convenience. And there's a video I saw on YouTube of Randy Roblero, and he makes about $77,000 a year with his mobile car wash, and he's only 22 years old. So yeah, this is another legitimate side hustle. It is going to be better in some areas rather than others. But with that being said, I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be writing articles online. So this is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to be writing articles and then publishing them online. A lot of the time you will be working as a freelancer. In some cases, you may get hired by a business full time. But there's many, many other ways of making money by doing this. Now, there's a lot of people who try to do this and they try to make money with it and they make one massive mistake, which I always like to say over and over again to not do. And that massive mistake is they try to be a generalist writer. And that basically means that you'll write an article about anything for anyone. You don't want to do that. Maybe you can start off by doing that, but quickly you want to figure out what your niche is. It's very important that you niche down and you become an expert on writing articles in a particular vertical. So for instance, you could write articles about investing and you could just get really, really good and familiar with investing, consume all the content on it. And that way, when you write the article, it's going to be top notch because it's very easy for people to tell when somebody writes an article about something that they have no idea about. So a really easy way to get started writing online is to start writing on the website Medium. And they actually pay you AdSense for the ads that are shown on the article. And you make on average about $13 per 1,000 words that you write. However, you can make much, much more than this. Another really easy way to get started is to start writing on websites like Fiverr. And then there's all kinds of different freelancing writing websites out there that you can get started with as well. But again, the way you make the big money is you get really good at a particular niche and you only write for that niche. Cannot emphasize how important that is. And most people don't do that. And that's why they quickly burn out and quit. So yeah, this can be really good if you do it the right way. And of course, yes, you can use AI to help you write these articles, but it's not going to just do all the work for you. But I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be starting a podcast. Now, this is one that's really hot right now. I think podcasts are one of the easiest ways to make money. However, it is going to take you some time to make money with a podcast. Typically, this is not something where you can make it and just start making money right away. In my opinion, YouTube is generally a little bit faster, especially if you make educational content. Podcasts, on the other hand, might take six months or a year before you start making money. But once you start making money, it's going to compound quickly. Another great thing about podcasts is they have an extremely long shelf life. So YouTube channels, for instance, oftentimes only last five to 10 years, and then people just kind of stop watching them, and then they just kind of die. Podcasts, on the other hand, and radio shows in general are known to last 30, 40, sometimes even 50 years. So podcasts are an incredible long term investment. Now, not only can you make money by creating podcasts, but you can also help other people create podcasts. There's lots of different jobs in the podcast industry. And I actually helped one of my students, David, get a job in podcasting. So yeah, this one is really good, but it's it's also long term, so I can't rank it very high because chances are you want to make
make money relatively quickly. So I'll go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be starting a newsletter. Now there's two different types of newsletter. There's paid newsletters and then there's free newsletters. With paid newsletters, people actually pay to be able to read the content. These are typically extremely highly curated pieces of content and they're so good that people will actually pay to read it. With free newsletters, they can also be pretty good, but a lot of the time in order to monetize them, you have to sell stuff. So you're gonna be either creating your own products or you might be sponsoring people or you might be dropping affiliate links in the newsletter. And basically people would sign up for these newsletters and then they get them in their email, maybe something like once a week. And there's a story about a guy who started a newsletter about his job, which is product management. And he makes $2 million a year just talking about product management and how it relates to technology. So yeah, there's a ton of opportunity here, both on the paid newsletter side, as well as the free newsletter side. And again, the secret to this is niching down, making sure you're talking about a particular niche and you're solving real problems for real people. Now, this is one where I have seen newsletters blow up really quickly, but again, it's probably gonna take you some time to start one of these and start actually making money with it. So I'll go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is offering digital marketing services. And this is where you could provide a range of different digital online marketing solutions for different types of businesses. And these could include things like social media management, search engine optimization, content creation, email marketing, online advertising, and also managing ads. And this is something that is relatively easy to get into. I've actually interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have gotten jobs in digital marketing and they didn't have a college degree or previous experience. For instance, Brian was able to land a digital marketing job and he was 59 years old. He didn't have any experience whatsoever in digital marketing and he was able to land a job at 59. So if someone at 59 can do it, you can definitely do it as well. And by the way, they all got their jobs by learning from my friend Seth. And he's basically like the godfather of getting people jobs in digital marketing without a college degree or previous experience. He's helped thousands and thousands of people do it. And he actually does have a free training where he'll teach you what digital marketing is, the different types of digital marketing, and whether it's a good option for you. And you can check that out by clicking down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. And there's so many different ways to get started with this. I mean, you can offer your services on something like Fiverr or Upwork. And again, it's very important that you only offer one service, right? Pick one thing that you want to get really good at and then offer it to one type of company or person. So for instance, you could offer SEO services for e-com companies. And yeah, this one is phenomenal. I'll go ahead and give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you think of somebody else out there who might also enjoy it, go ahead and share it. Maybe it's a friend, a family member, or someone who just needs to get a job or make some extra money as a side hustle. Go ahead and share it with them because I don't have a big marketing department. I don't spend a bunch of money on ads. I grow by word of mouth. And I've seen lots of comments about people who got sent here from their family members or their friends. And I always really appreciate seeing that. Next is going to be photography. And you've probably heard about this side hustle a million times before, but what you want to do to actually make money with photography is make sure that you niche down again. So for instance, I recently met a guy who has a photography studio. And one of the things that he offers is creating YouTube thumbnails for people. So he basically takes a bunch of pictures of you and he makes them really good, very vivid, very clear. And they're designed to be used in YouTube thumbnails. And this is something that I kind of had to figure out on my own becoming a YouTuber that it's important to do this. So it's something I had to kind of figure out by myself. And it would have been really nice if I just had a photographer to do this for me. So depending on the area you live, this is the kind of service you could absolutely offer and make a ton of money with. So yeah, there's a lot to be said about photography. I mean, you've probably heard about this a million times on the internet before. Very important that you niche down. There's certain niches where you can get paid much more than others. I'll go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be writing review resumes or helping people with their resume in general. And this is basically where you review somebody's resume and then you put a bunch of notes on it to help them make it better. Or in some cases, you just change the resume yourself. Now, this is another one where you want to niche down. So you only want Want to be working on a particular type of resume for a particular career. So for instance, if you're somebody who got a job as an accountant, you would want to help other people get jobs as accountants as well by reviewing their resumes or helping them make it. And the reason you just want to stick with one career is because you are going to be able to very quickly see once you've reviewed a bunch of resumes, the common mistakes that people make. And you're going to have an insight on what types of things that hiring managers and business owners are looking for because you're so familiar with the career. And there's a story about a 35 year old teacher who brought in $2 million from his resume writing side hustle. And I can almost guarantee you if you reach out to a resume writer and they're specialized in the career that you're actually trying to get into, you're going to get much better work than if you just reach out to a general resume writer. And so this is a really cool gig that you can
can offer on places like Fiverr or Upwork. And most of the people on there just offer general resume writing. And so you can stand out by offering a specific type of resume. And you're gonna be doing much better work and your customers are gonna be happier. So it's a win-win for everybody. So yeah, resume writing is a really good one. I've actually seen a bunch of different people make tons of money from doing this. There's another guy I know who sold his business for millions of dollars and he basically helped people get into the finance industry. So yeah, this one is really good. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be creating handmade crafts. And this is one that you can make money locally or you can sell on websites such as Etsy. And I remember I was traveling one time and I was staying at this hostel and I ran into a girl who actually makes a full-time income from selling stuff on Etsy. And she basically sold these little like evil eye rings, whatever that is. It's just like a ring that has kind of like an eye on it. And she was making a ton of money doing it. And there's this girl who talks about how she makes $1,200 a week with handmade crafts. So there's lots of different reviews online of lots of different people that are making money doing this. And it's easier to stand out here than selling on something like Shopify or Amazon, just because of the fact that it, you have to put some tender loving care into the things that you make. And so it's much more special to people when they buy it, because they know that they're not just getting some mask produced crap. So yeah, this is a really good one. You legitimately can make good money from this. I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be bush trimming and landscaping. So this can include all kinds of different services. You could be mowing people's lawns, trimming their bushes, and just landscaping in general, making their house and their lawn and their backyard look really good. And this can be especially profitable if you are in neighborhoods where there's a lot of wealthy people. And there's certain types of people who want this sort of thing done like every few days or every week. And again, this is one of those jobs where it's not easy. You're going to be working out in the sun. You're going to be putting in physical labor. But you can make a ton of money doing it because most people don't want to. For instance, there's this Reddit post about this person who started with nothing. Three years later, he's doing $110,000 in revenue a month not a year, a month. And he says he's making about 30 to $40,000 in profit per month from that. So it's not easy work, but somebody's got to do it, right? And a lot of the time, it's these boring businesses that can be the easiest way to make money. So I'll go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, another one that you can make a lot of money with, and you can actually get started even quicker than this one, is going to be TaskRabbit. And this is basically an app you can download where you can just do random tasks for random people. Now, this is something that I have both used myself and I've been a customer of. So last time I moved from one house to another, I basically needed help from somebody and I didn't want to bother my friends. So I just hired somebody on TaskRabbit for a day or two to help me pack everything up and help me to move it. And I paid them $35 an hour plus tips and I paid for their lunch and dinner. So they ended up making something between 50 and $60 an hour when it was all said and done. And you can do all kinds of different stuff. You can help people move stuff. You can paint, you can you know fix their yard, you can help them clean up their house. I mean, there's all kinds of different random tasks that you can do on TaskRabbit. And there's lots of people all over that are making a full-time income with it. So it's actually one of my favorite side hustle apps. I absolutely love it. And I know I've mentioned it before on the channel, but I like to mention the good ones over and over again. So this one is going to get a nine out of 10 opportunity score from me. And by the way, I did make a video very recently that went viral on 21 dirty side hustles that no one is talking about. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.